an href in this a tag, and I'm going to say posts dot php question mark, and I'm going to say the variable post, and I'm I'm not referring to the dollar sign underscore post variable in capital letters. That is uh, through a different method that you use in forms. So this will be a get variable, and the get variable inside of the array will be called post. So I'm going to say post equals, and I'm going to put in the ID. And for that, I have to go back here and put in PHP. But really, all I can do here is cut this part out. I can go here, echo this part in single quotes, and now I can go ahead and echo out the ID. So I'm going to say row. I'm going to say ID in capital letters. And now I can save, refresh. As you can see, I have a post here. Now, if you looked um, down here where the URL usually pops up at, you will see that when I have my link over it, you will see that it says four under post if you're at the highest quality that I'm uploading. And if you if I click here where I just have my mouse over it, you'll see three. And if you see here, it says one. So if I click here, we still have the dummy content, but it still says post four up there. And that's what we want because that's the ID. So inside of our post.php, first, because we are going to be asking the database, we're going to need to grab the linking information. So we, just, we can copy that in, but we can actually cut this out, say include, if you remember this, and I'm going to say connect.php, and I'm going to save, and then I'm going to make a new file simply for connections. And I'm just going to call it connect.php, and I can just paste it in, I can save, exit, and forget about it, and then just include right here, connect.php and everything's clean with that. So the next thing is we are going to be fetching the information that we're going to use in the page before we actually send the page data. So what we're going to do here is um, first we are going to put in our new query here so we can I can show you how um, the new query works. So I'm going to go to the joining query, select the entire thing. I'm going to leave it in these broken line segments. Um, the SQL interpreter does not care. And now I can save it, but I still have yet to remove this part right here. And right here, I can just say echo row and post name because I made sure to call it post name up here in my final result. So I can save, I can show you the main blog page. As you can see, it's still the same, the username is still there, and everything is happy, and we only have one query going on here. So I'm going to copy this information right here to use in my query up here. So I'm going to do this, I'm going to cut out the spaces here, and now I can go ahead and preserve the information. Now the information is coming in an array, so I'm going to uh, make an array beforehand just to be safe if we do not get any results. Now if I tried referring to row after this point, like um, right here at line 22, I might have an issue because row might be deleted because it's no longer used in this while loop. Or it might be set to null because the next loop might not actually refer to anything. So I'm going to say that my um, post data equals an array and I'm just going to leave it like that and I'm going to say post data equals row and now at this point at line 22 I can refer to post data and safely get the row information and the thing is here I need to select only one row so I'm going to stick in and make sure you get this in the right order it has to be after all the inner join stuff and before the order stuff. So I'm going to say where ID equals, you know, the post ID. So I'm going to go up here and say post ID equals, and I'm going to say convert to an integer and trim the variable from the, uh, the master get variable. I'm going to say that that sub variable is called post because that's what I have in the URL. 
So I have the post ID, and because I'm converting it to a number already, I will not have issues with um, SQL injection, and the worst I can do is to try to send in a zero. So I am getting a zero here if they try anything like a letter or anything that's not a number in general, or just leave it blank. So I have no issue there. And, you know, you would think that if I just save this and I went, uh, well, actually, I don't have a way to display it yet. But you would think that this ID would refer to this ID up here, but that is only a falsity. Because there are two IDs. There's the user ID and there are the post ID. Within this uh, query here, if I just said ID, ID will be ambiguous. So I'm going to say where post ID equals uh, my post ID obviously. And since this is a variable, that's a number, I don't have to worry about escaping it or anything else like that. So I'm going to save here. And that was kind of like the mistake right there. If I just left it as ID, it would not work. So now I can get my uh, post data. And I'm going to say here in my title tag, which will, be, which will show up in the tab title uh, right up here. Uh, I will make it say post title I mean, not post title, long title, and then it has that lead to um, symbol there. I'm going to say the blog, well, actually the post title there. So I'm going to go back in PHP and paste in uh, my ability to echo out the title. So I'm going to say echo HTML entities because our title can have special characters. I'm going to say dollar sign underscore, and it's not dollar sign underscore actually, it is post data. So I'm going to say post data. Remember, I said title because it is title up here in the identification that we're going to use in the end. So if I save that and I go here, you'll see that in the uh, section up here that it says jobbies go to uh, town on Sundays, it also says it up here um, in the Firefox title bar. So we now know that we have got the information and the correct information. So what we need to do here is go ahead and uh, continue putting in the information. Now, one thing that I had different in my base HTML and with the blog is that I add to the blog the ability to have the date. So I'm going to copy that real quick and just uh, copy and go down here. And it's after title because we do not want to go um, after the div because that's after the post. And the div is completely separate because um, it's a blocking element and not an inline element. So I now have the date and if I refresh after saving of course I can see wrote title blah blah, blah on this um, date but it seems that because I'm using the variable row I'm not getting the correct information, so if I just change this to post data, everything should be happy. And as you can see, this is pr Friday 25th. So um, I'm going to go back here, and I still have all the information, but I'm going to be referring to the title with the post data. So I'm going to say, um, again, in PHP, and instead of echoing it, um,